Hi friends, it's Yana here today, and today we're going to be making the Yvonne Spa Day Robe. This is a perfect pattern to sew up for yourself or for loved ones as gifts. It's perfect for this time of the year. I am obsessed with it. I love robes anyway, so I was so excited to get a robe pattern because I literally cannot have enough. So, I mean, every day I wear a robe. I love lounging in a robe, so I was super excited to um, get to sew up this pattern, and I think you're going to love it, so let's get to it. Alright friends, let's get started. I am using, what I'm actually using is a fleece material, and what I did was I found this cute little uh, puppy paw pr uh, print uh, blanket at Walmart and it was so cute and soft and it was on sale so I got I grabbed two of them and that's what I cut out my pattern with and I am super excited to use it because it's an alternative to spending a lot of money on yardage and you get a really cute print so that was really awesome that I found it I'm excited for it I think Bull is gonna love it <laughs> when I'm wearing paw print Anyway, so let's get started. I am going to be grabbing my front, my back and my front. And before I even um, go on with the whole process, I will say that this fabric being that it's a fleece fabric is not going to fray. But if you're using fabric that's going to fray, as I'm sewing this, like when I sew the shoulders together, you will want to finish off the raw edges so that your fabric will not fray. Um, so there is that note. I know that you can use all kinds of different fabrics for this project. So you want to make sure that your fabric is not going to fray on you as you're wearing it because you don't want your, um, rope to fall apart. <laughs> so we're going to grab our back piece. I'm going to place it face up on my board and then I'm going to grab my front. I'm going to place it face down on top, matching up the side. This is the arm side. This is the front that goes down and we're going to sew up those shoulders so mine I'm just going to be sewing up on my sewing machine with a straight stitch because this fabric like I said doesn't fray but if I had a fabric that frayed um, as I'm planning also to make this into like um, if you were making it like into a fancy robe with like a silky fabric or something like that, then you'll want to do the straight stitch and then go through with it in a zigzag stitch or your serger to finish off that edge so it won't fray. So let's go ahead and sew that. I make sure to back stitch at the beginning and the end. All right, now that that's sewn, I'm going to open up that seam allowance and steam it, make sure that you test out a little scrap piece of fabric first before you steam it uh, so that you don't burn your fabric depending on what fabric type you have. All right, so once that's done, we're gonna place our front and back right side up on our mat and open up where that arm side area is, right here where the sleeve is gonna go. And I'm gonna grab my sleeve and you will notice that your sleeve pattern piece has marks for the back, center, and the front. So make sure that you transfer those to your piece. And I've got two notches for my back and my center front. I don't really need to mark the front because I know this is my back. So that's how I keep it straight. So I'm going to grab it and I place it right sides together. So the right side of the fabric to the right side of the right side of the main to the right side of the sleeve and match up that top notch, the center notch. It's kind of hard for you to tell which is my right side and my wrong side of my fabric, but you just want to make sure that they're right sides together. And then we're going to go along that outer edge all the way down, attaching that sleeve. And then we'll go on the other side as well. And I'm going to do it for the other sleeve as well. I came a little too close to the edge there and I wanted to make sure that I cut all the seam allowance because it see how that first the top one kind of came in a little bit so I wanted to make sure I caught it because I don't want it to fall apart <laughs> so always make sure that both your sleeve and your um, bodice are actually flushed together when you're sewing all right we're gonna open the seam allowance on the sleeve and I have a hem 
but I don't know where it is. I think I might have taken it actually to this to a school with me. I am a teacher and sometimes I take my things to school and I forget to bring them back. So I am remembering that I think that's where it's at, but it's okay. We can do it nicely here without the help of one. A ham is a tool that helps you when you're doing rounded seams to it's it's like a it's like a bulky thing that you put underneath it and it helps keep the shape i have two of them so i probably have another one around here somewhere and if i find it i'll show it to you but if i don't show it to you you can look it up and it's actually a very helpful tool to steam like sleeves and rounded colors and stuff like that all righty now we're going to go ahead and face it all rice sides together where i'm having my sides match so i've got this is my sleeve here and i'm going to grab my front and back and my sleeve here and i'm going to match where the armpit is going to go here at the sleeve section and then we're going to go down the sleeve and match them right sides together on the outer edge and then all the way down the side seam. And we're gonna do that for both sides. This robe is coming along so quickly and so nice. This is such a perfect sew for gifts too. Um, I plan on making these um, for me and then um, I plan on making them for other friends because they are super easy, especially like if you can find um, like blankets that are themed for things that your friends like or even fleece. Uh, sometimes you can find fleece on sale at this time of the year or flannel like this would be really cute on flannel as well. Um, and then you can get um, some good deals if you can get some good deals on the fabric and you get this beautiful pattern and then you can make it for friends because it's so easy. And the fact that like um, with robes, it's easy to be able to tell like what size. You don't have to worry about like, oh, it has to be just the exact size because you'll have a belt to wrap around and the length and stuff like that. So it's just such a perfect thing to give as a gift. So this is perfect timing for me. All right, so now you will go ahead and steam those side seams. So open those up and steam them. And then once we're done with that, we're going to move on to work on our pockets. So I'm gonna put my robe aside and I'm gonna grab my pockets in. <laughs> I just realized that I cut my pocket into two pieces, not on the fold on this one, look at that. Whoops, I need two of the same piece. So uh, let me go cut some more of these if I have enough fabric. All right, remember how I said I only, I, I made this with two blankets? Well, I only have enough to do one pocket, but that's okay, because that's all I need. One packet to put my phone on. So we're gonna go ahead and sew all the way around, except for at the bottom, we're going to leave like a two inch opening where we can turn this around after we sew it all up. Okay, so we're gonna start here, sew around and then end here. And I'm actually gonna prep my loops and my hanging loop by folding it wrong, right sides together, I'm sorry, and sewing it down. Sewing that raw edge together. I've got my two loops and a hanging loop. Every time I get to the corner, I just lift up my foot, leave my needle down, and turn to go the other way. And then when I get here, I back stitch so that way it's not gonna pop open. My fabric was eaten. You gotta make sure that your foot is touching the fabric here and in the back. I did not make sure to do that, so it ate my fabric. Another way to do this is, I don't have a pin here, but it's to put a pin here at the beginning, and it helps you pull it through. 
or sometimes I grab the thread and help it move. All right, so when it comes to the pocket, we're gonna cor corner. We're gonna clip this extra bulk in the corners um, and any like extra seam allowance that you, you know, had created. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn it through that little area here that you left open. You can use any kind of tool that you have to poke out those corners. Okay. And here's where that gap is. We're just gonna tuck in that seam allowance in there. And when we sew this pocket onto the onto our robe, we're gonna sew around down and over. And when we're sewing over, it's gonna close that gap there and up. And we're gonna do in the corners, we're gonna do like a back, like a triangle stitch here so that it's they're nice and tacked down. And this is gonna be your pocket. I think I like, I don't know. I don't know which side I like better. Now for the loops, we're gonna grab a loop turner and we're gonna turn them around, right sides out. All right, we're gonna carefully steam these out in my pocket. Now with the loops, we're going to fold the top down on both sides, the top and bottom down in towards the inside and we're gonna place it on our mark in a minute. But let's do the pocket first. Grab my robe and where do I want my pocket? I think I want my pocket on this side right here since I'm only doing one pocket. My front pattern piece. And sometimes what I like to do is I like to cut out the shape where my pocket goes or you can just place it right on top. Make sure it's where it's supposed to be. And here's my pocket marking, pocket placing. So you can mark it. I'm literally just like ripping a little hole <laughs> so that my pins are there. And where is my bottom? Here's my bottom. So we're gonna place it right in between those lines, right in there. Okay, that looks good. And I'm gonna use those same pins to pin it on. Now what you can do if you are very like, uh, wanna make sure that it's very straight on here and it's not gonna be crooked, grab a ruler. You wanna grab a ruler and you're gonna measure from the outer edge to where your pocket is and make sure that it's the same spot all the way around. So it's four inches here and it looks like it's less than four inches here and it looks like it's four inches here. So it's just the wiggly of my fabric but you can go ahead and use your ruler and measure out from the edge and make sure that it is straight and not crooked make sure you're not latching anything else from the bottom and you're going to go to your sewing machine and we're going to sew a triangle here down turn up and another triangle here to attach your pocket now for belt loops your belt loop markers are on the back piece and it is you're going to put it on there and here's my belt loop placement so that's where my belt loop is going to go so i'm going to grab one belt loop and fold that over the bottom over and the top over i'm going to place it right where that loop placement is and i'm going to pin it So that way I can go over there and sew it on. And I'm gonna do the same for the other belt loop. Okay, now for the hanging loop, we're gonna grab the back side and we're gonna find where the back middle center point is, right there. We're gonna grab our hanging loop and we're gonna place it right there and we're gonna baste it on. Then when we attach the band or the hood, it'll get caught in there. You can go baste it on at the same time that I'm doing all the other things because then you'll just get caught and you'll have it right there. To make the triangle as I get to the edge, I'm gonna lift up the foot and turn just like we did earlier. The foot down, go a little bit farther in. 
then lift up the foot and go turn my robe all the way and go towards the line where I was at and that creates a little triangle right there in the corner. You can see it right there, it's a little triangle. I'm gonna just move over to the belt loops. If you have a really thick fabric, you can put down here the bag a like a piece of folded paper if you don't have a tool to hold it stable um, because sometimes if you have very thick fabric it will um, the going up and down it might not catch it so if you start higher up like thicker at the back it will go straight and you'll catch it there we go just go back and forth on that loop make sure the needle is actually on your loop so it doesn't move on you okay belt loop is I mean um, hanging loop is basted all right now that my pocket is attached my belt loops are attached we're gonna move on to I'm doing the hooded option so I'm gonna grab my hood Place it right sides together, which is already right sides together. And I'm going to sew this outer edge. While I'm at it, I'm also grabbing the bodice band and my hood band. And I'm gonna prep that. And I'm also grabbing my belt and I'm gonna prep that. So to prep the belt, now, because I'm making it out of the fabric that I had um, of this blanket, I could not cut out two on the fold. So I cut one on the fold and one as two, adding a little bit of seam allowance. So I'm gonna have another seam here on my belt, but that's fine with me. But I'm gonna sew that up first, so that's why you'll see another one. But if you've cut on the fold, you'll have two that are long on the fold, and we're gonna sew it at the short raw edges right sides together and we're gonna do that first and then we're gonna sandwich it and create the loop the belt but we'll come back to that so i just sewed it i'm just gonna sew those two belt pieces at the short raw edge right sides together just that one short raw edge and with the hood band i've got my front bodice band and then my hood band that aside and I'm gonna open my hood band right side up and grab my front bodice band and I'm gonna match each one on each end. So right sides together here on this end. This is my hood band. And then the other side, right sides together on the other end. I'm gonna go sew those up to prep my hood, ba hood band and front bodice band, my belt, prep it together and my hood. All right, so first we're gonna grab our belt. I'm gonna fold it right sides together. And again, I'm gonna have two seams because of the fact that I was not able to cut mine on the fold, both of them. So that's why I have two seams, but you should only have one seam if you were able to cut on the fold. And we're gonna go here from the end, go up and sew all the way over to the other side but when we get towards the middle, we want to leave a like a two inch gap where we'll turn this around and then we'll top stitch that. So, so close, we'll sew it closed uh, when we come around to finish the belt because we'll turn it around and then we'll close the gap. But we need that gap so we can turn this belt right side out. So we'll start our one then go over and down all the way down. And then I'll stop stitching, leave a gap, start back up, and go all the way down and stitch down. And that's what our belt will look like. And then we'll turn that right side out when we come back. Then for our front, for our hood piece, we're going to grab our bodice. And I did not mark my hood stopping point on my front bodice. So I'm going to grab that pattern piece, match it up and mark it right there on both sides. 
And I'm gonna grab my hood and I'm gonna open it up here where the bottom of the seam is. And you wanna steam this open, which I didn't yet. So I'm gonna just steam it open real quickly on my ironing board, one second. All right, so now that it's steamed open, we're gonna find that center piece, which is where my loop hang is, my hanging loop is, loop hanging, hanging loop. And we're gonna match that with the seam of the bottom of the hood. And I'm gonna go down from one side over to that mark, matching those raw edges, and then over to the other side. We're gonna go sew that on, and we're going to go sew the belt together. I like to go back and forth where the hanging loop is so I can reinforce that. All right, for the band, we're just gonna go where we left that gap right there. And we're gonna turn it right side out. Actually, you can clip. You can trim these corners so that way when you turn it, it's not like bulky here at the corners. And then turn it. So I can find my area that I left the gap at. And you can use any kind of tool you want to poke out those corners. And here, when you left the gap, you're gonna top stitch it in. So you can just top stitch it or you can hand stitch it closed. Sometimes I just use steam a seam or hem tape and just hem uh, um, steam the hem right there. So it's seam it closed and you don't see any stitching, but it really is up to you however you wanna do that. So that will be your next step. And then our belt is completed. So I'm gonna put it aside. And then we've got our hood here already on. So what we're going to do is we're gonna grab our band and we're gonna find the center of your hood band here at the top. And I'm gonna match that up with the top of the hood right sides together. And then you should be able to go all the way down, down the front of your robe, right sides together. And then do the same going the other way. Ooh, this is looking so cozy. I cannot wait. Breakfast for the holidays, the cozy cold weather coming up. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and sew that up. And there's gonna be a couple of ways to finish this front band. Um, one of the ways will be to fold the edge in and then fold it in and encase that seam and top stitch it. So you're gonna encase that seam. Another one is to just go ahead and serge all the edge and then fold it surged. Um, but you'll see the surging. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the fold over method since mine is not gonna fray and I don't have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and sew that. But if you want to do the serge edge, after you sew that, you can go ahead and serge all the outer edge of your robe, even the bottom area, all around it. Um, but I'm not doing that step because I'm just going to do the fold over and then top stitch it on top, like so. So um, let's go sew all that one together first. All right, since I wanna finish this up with the hem option, first of all, you need to make sure if it's gonna fray, if your fabric's gonna fray, you do need to go ahead and finish off the raw edge because you don't want it to fray on you. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to fold this hem option here. So I'm gonna steam the seam towards the um, band. Um, and be careful with that. I already kind of did a little bit, so we wanna be careful with it. And then steam the hem on the whole outer edge of the robe. All right, we're gonna grab here on the fold. Here's the fold there. And we're gonna match right sides together so that the seam, so that this fold meets the seam of the robe. And then we're going to sew here at the bottom with a half an inch seam allowance. And I'm gonna show you once we do that and we turn this around, 
this is gonna come around and cover that seam right there, that seam allowance. And then we're gonna hem this bottom piece as well. So we're gonna go really quickly to our sewing machine and sew that right there at a half an inch seam allowance on both sides. So here's my other side. And I'm gonna fold it towards that seam right at that seam edge right there. And then sew it here at the bottom at a half an inch seam allowance. Let's go do that. All right, now all we've got left to do is to top stitch all the way around and I'm gonna show you how. So now that I have that piece there, we're gonna trim the corner so it folds out really nice. We're gonna fold it out. You can see right there. And then our seam allowance is gonna go towards the inside of the bodice and we're just going to top stitch this band down all the way around. Do the same on the other end. And at the bottom, you'll see that it lends itself to be folded up for that hem. You're gonna hem all the way around. Now remember, if your fabric frays, you need to make sure that you finish that raw edge first before you top stitch it closed. I, I have this fleece that it's not gonna fray on me, so that's why I'm just doing the regular fold without finishing the raw edge. We're gonna top stitch along this ditch here. So we're gonna like go run along the seam allowance, like so like go right on top of that seam right there, all the way around the whole robe, and then top stitch the bottom. And then we also are going to hem our sleeves. Now again, if your fabric frays, you need to go ahead and hem it, I mean, um, Finish the rage first, and then you can hem it. And that's it. We'll be done with this sew. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm super excited about it. It's so cozy. I cannot wait. I'm gonna be making some from uh, for my friends. Gonna go grab some blankets now so I can um, use them for sewing. Cause I don't really have a great, um, in my area, I don't have really very many fabric shops. So sometimes it's easier for me to just deconstruct a blanket or something like that. But if you do have a place where they have really good sales on fleas and everything like that, this is an amazing, it would be amazing to do it like that too. All right, let's go finish this up and we'll be done. It felt weird and I just wanted to make sure it didn't get moved out of the way when I moved the pin, because sometimes that happens. Here at the end, I'm gonna turn at my half inch and go all the way around the bottom. Last but not least, we're gonna hem the sleeves and we are done. All right, friends, we are done, and I'm going to try this on. I think it turned out so, so good. It is super cozy. Um, I love that I was able to use those blankets to make this robe. The one pocket, I mean, it would have been nice to have the two pockets, but obviously I ran out. I have like, just like little scraps showing you my garbage like this is what I have like little scraps of fabric left but that's okay because that's all I needed I love it it's super super cozy and comfy it fits so well and I know this is I don't know what anybody's gonna say but I feel like if I make this in a flannel like a really nice looking flannel this could look like a trench coat. Like I could wear this out and about. I, I am like so serious already planning on sewing it up with maybe even in black or something like that. But maybe, maybe I'm over the top. But I love it. I think it is so, so, so nice. 
it is so comfy this is the knee length um and then um, there's a shorter length too and I think it would be so cute the shorter length would be amazing too in like a silky fabric for like a really nice robe luxurious robe too I am a comfy soft flannel or um what fleece robe type of girl but I know that there are some out there that love the silky uh, luxurious feel um, so that would also be super good on this or even like a flannel or linen would be amazing on this as well and remember there's also an option for the um, uh, neck area not to be a hood um, and that is also super super cool anyway I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please come and like share subscribe go grab the robe and sew it up with me and I'll see you all next time bye